So we have that November chill in the air, um, but today we want to take and start cracking some of our butternuts that we harvested back in September. If you saw that video, we showed how we processed our uh, butternuts. We were lucky enough to have a white walnut tree or a butternut tree in our yard. Uh, they are endangered, so they're very rare, so we do take advantage of collecting those delicious butternuts when we can. Uh, but today, uh, we're gonna take and uh, try to crack those, and that can be a little bit of a job. So there's a couple different ways to do that. One is just with a hammer uh, and to try to crack those nuts gently enough so that you can break them apart and get as large a piece out as possible. And the other one is with a uh, nut cracker. We are um, lucky enough that we did invest in one of those because we found it very difficult to crack them otherwise. But we're gonna try both of those methods today and let's see how it goes. So these are the butternuts we collected this year. We got a nice basket full. Uh, we're gonna take and we're gonna start cracking those open. Ooh, we got a whole one. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try uh, using a hammer. And basically what you wanna do is take the nut, put it long side up and down, and just give it several taps with the hammer until you hear the main crack. And that'll crack the shell in half. Don't wanna do it too hard so that it shatters. You just wanna get that shell to crack open. One little. Here you can see, here's half of the butternut in this piece. If it's stuck in there, you can take these wire nippers, just kind of nip the shell. Oh, that's a nice one. Then you can usually pull these nice pieces out. Any little pieces that are stuck in there, you can use a little pick. I found a cheese knife with the pointy end works well. Oh, that's good. Just want to be careful not to get the shells in there because those hurt kind of when you chew them. I'll go through it at the end. You get that nice crack sound. You know when it, the shell is just broken. Another good piece. That's a nice one. See, so. Oh. If you're lucky enough to get one out like this, you did a good job. So far, I'm liking this hammer method. Again, just a bunch of light taps until you'll hear the pop and that shell breaks. Sometimes it doesn't go all the way. you got to give it a few more. But the idea is to get it to come apart these pieces so you don't destroy the nut that's inside and if you take a look so you can see the way the butternut is in here there's two halves they're you know mirror images of each other but they kind of look like these little I don't know what you would call them. water bottle <laughs> what was it what is it they remind me of the old-fashioned red hot water bottles I don't know why that's oh yeah those old uh, hot water bottles they kind of each side kind of looks like that, but uh, they're in there and they're wrapped around um, pretty tightly um, with all kinds of stuff inside the shell. So if you get the wire nippers and you nip just right, you can get these out. So we do a little. So that's kind of. That's one of the whole halves. So they're in there pretty good. So here's our nutcracker. Um, it's got this lever on the top. It's got this rod that pushes forward. This is adjustable, so you can get the nut in here and you can adjust this down. And then you put it in there and compress it. So let's see how that compares. So far the hammer method seems to be pretty easy. Get our nut in here. We're going to tighten this down. I actually did a really good job. We got this whole piece there. Nice whole piece there. Yeah, we 
adjust it, it's pretty easy. sides were whole on that one. So here's a good example of how the two halves of the nut are in the shell. So we got a lot of nice ones. We got a lot of, a lot of whole ones. Uh, we're going to keep these in the freezer so they don't go rancid because they will go bad uh, if you leave them out for too long. So we're going to put these in the freezer to preserve them and uh, we're going to find some good uses for them. So Deb and I had a lot of fun together uh, spending some time outside cracking open those butternuts. We found that both methods worked very well. Uh, using the hammer with those light taps, actually firm taps, uh, until you heard that crack. Uh, enabled you to split that uh, nut open and pull the insides out. And the nutcracker worked equally as well, but if you didn't want to invest in a nutcracker, you certainly could do it with a hammer uh, with just a little bit of effort. Uh, we feel certainly blessed to have that butternut tree on our property. As I said, they are endangered, um, so there's not a lot of them left in the wild. So it really was a blessing to have it here uh, and have it provide us with some additional food. If you enjoyed today's video, uh, please hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, we certainly would appreciate you subscribing to our channel. If you do have a butternut tree on your property, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear about it to see other people that are lucky enough to have this beautiful tree. Uh, so until next time here on Sunnyside Up Farm, we hope all your days are sunny side up. <laughs>